In this video, we will learn how to set up key events and intervals for measuring your project performance. Rocket Lane introduces key events and intervals to provide a clear and logic-loaded understanding of areas in your projects where you spend more than the estimated time. These key events capture the start and end date of your project's tasks, phases, and milestones, and flag any delay in starting or completing important milestones. Intervals help you measure the time between these key events and compare it to your benchmark intervals. Doing this lets you determine your time to value for critical tasks. If you're completing these tasks ahead of schedule, you can adjust your benchmark value and figure out what you did right and apply it to future projects. You can set up the key event and intervals in three simple steps. First step is to create your key events. Second step is to create intervals between two key events. Third step is to automate the recording of these key events. Let's consider an example before proceeding to set up the feature. A project manager aims to determine the time to value of their project. To achieve this, they must calculate the duration between the kickoff and go live end dates. Here, kickoff and go live end dates will be the key events they need to capture, and the number of working days between these two key events will be the interval they need to measure. This helps the project manager track project performance and achieve their time to value goal. Let's get started and see how to create key events. Log in as an admin and navigate to your avatar. Select Settings and scroll down to the Advanced section. Select Key Events and Intervals and click the New Key Event button. In the Create a Key Event slider, start adding the details. As per our example, let's add the kickoff and go live end as key events. Give a relevant name that resonates with the actual date you are capturing. For example, kickoff end. Add a description for your understanding of what details the key event would capture. Select this option to capture the date of the key event the first time someone changes the status of a task or phase. For example, if the kickoff phase changes to completed status, the date of this transition will be recorded as the first activity. However, if the same status change happens again for the kickoff phase at a later time, the date will not be captured. By choosing this option, you allow the admins and project owners to edit the key event dates in the project overview page. Click Save. Repeat the steps to add as many key events as you wish. You can now add Go Live End as another key event. Next, let's measure the duration between the kickoff and Go Live End using intervals. This interval will help you measure the time to value of your project. Intervals refer to the number of working days between two key events. Let's get started and see how to add intervals. You will find intervals below key events. Click the New Interval button. As per our example, Let's create an interval between the kickoff end and go live end key events. Give the interval a relevant name that resonates with the metrics the interval is measuring, for example, time to value. Add a description for your understanding of what details the intervals will capture. Select the two key events between which the duration needs to be measured. As per our example, the interval between kickoff end and go live end key events can be measured. Click Save. Repeat the same steps to add as many intervals as necessary. Next, let's automate the recording of these key events. Key events can be automatically captured by recording the dates at which your team members change the status of a task or phase. You can establish specific conditions for these status changes at the template level, ensuring that all projects using the template follow these conditions for capturing key events. To automate the recording of key events, navigate to templates. Select a template for which you wish to record key events. Click on a phase or task that needs to be a key event. On the right-hand side, you will see a Key Events tab. Click the Add Condition button to open the Create Key Event slider. Per our sample condition, the kickoff and go live end are key events. Let's first create the condition to record the kickoff end. Under When Phase Status Changes, add the From and to Statuses. For example, record the key event when the status changes from any status to complete it. Under then record this key event, choose the key event for which you apply this condition. Under do you want to capture the planned date for this key event? Select yes, if you want to track the planned date of projects that utilize this template. This will enable you to compare the actual date captured during the status change with the planned date established in the project. You can use this information to determine whether the key event is delayed or ahead of schedule. Under Capture the planned date from phase slash tasks. Select Start Date if you wish to track the key event start. Select Due Date if you wish to track the key event's completion. Check this box if you wish to override the planned date of the project manually. 
click Save to set up the condition. Now, in a project that uses this template, when someone changes the status of the kickoff phase from any status to complete it, the actual date of the key event kickoff end will be recorded. Repeat this process for setting up the condition for go live end when someone changes the status of the go live phase from any status to complete it. To view the status of these key events and measure overall project performance, you can navigate to projects and select individual projects to get an overview of the key events. If you wish to edit the planned or actual dates of these events, you can do that under the overview dashboard. And that is how you set up key events and intervals to track your project performances and curtail delays at the NIP. Stay tuned for more updates on the intervals IQ reporting. In the meanwhile, if you have any questions, please reach out to care at rocketlane.com.